Okay, you need to check this out. Here's an AI vocal that sounds scary good. And I can even control every breath, note, voil, and you know what's the best? is I can also use it straight inside Cubase. Now, AI vocals are evolving very fast, but the big question is, are they a threat or a powerful new tool for music creators like us? Let's find out. So this one is by Dreamtonics and it's called the Synthesizer V Studio 2 Pro, which is a vocal synthesis software, or if you want a voice singing virtual instrument. And the cool thing is that it uses real vocal samples as voices recorded and licensed by real singers. And that is quite impressive. Under the hood, we're talking about a singing synthesis engine blended with AI technology. And let's get the price out of the way. It goes out at 99 US dollars. I'm gonna leave the link down below. There's one voice included when you purchase the software and everything is managed straight on your computer and not on the cloud. You can also purchase extra voices if you wish to. There's a bunch available on the Dreamtonics website. Now, how to use a synthesizer V2. You can use it as a standalone software or straight inside your DAW, and this is exactly what I'm gonna do inside Cubase. Now in Cubase, I can use it as an ARA extension or as a virtual instrument. And how I'm gonna use it today is as a virtual instrument, and this is the way I prefer. Anyways, now on this session, I have just a quick four chord progression played on the piano with a little melody also played on the piano that I'm gonna convert straight into a synthesizer V2 to generate a vocal. All right, very simple stuff. Uh, now to create notes inside a Synthesizer V2, um, there are several ways to do it. I can do everything manually if I want to by just double clicking inside the piano roll section of uh, Synthesizer V2 just double clicking uh, on the, the notes and there you go. But I can also import a MIDI part from Cubase inside a Synthesizer 2, which I'm gonna do with the little melody I have on the piano. So I'm just gonna drag that inside Synthesizer 2, click on new tracks, uh, imports, and if I click on play, Okay, now it's only a sine wave. What I need to do is to load a voice. Uh, so from the top right, I'm gonna click on voice panel. Let's go with uh, Felicia to see how that one sounds like. La 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 la, la 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 la. La, 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 That's pretty la, cool. La. Now, as you notice, there's a delay reverb going on and some compression also that I have a straight on the instrument uh, channel in Cubase. Okay, let's try another singer. I'm gonna go with uh, Hayden on this one. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Um, now I'm gonna have to enter lyrics. And to do so, it's very simple. I just need to double click on the first note and start writing some lyrics. And to change note, I'm just gonna click on the tab, key on my keyboard, and that's it. So let's go with, um, I tried to sing, but I just can't, which is uh, pretty much the case, you know, for me anyways. I am not a singer whatsoever. All right, so let's try this out. I tried to sing, but I just can't. La, 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 <laughs> nice. La, la, la. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to continue quickly with... Uh, let's go with my voice. Sounds like a ceiling. Man, now ceiling is going to go on two notes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, on the second note, I'm gonna remove what's in there and uh, add a plus sign. So that means that the end of ceiling will jump on the higher note. And then uh, let's go with uh, fan. All right, so let's uh, try this out once again. I tried to sing, but I just can't. 
My voice sounds like a ceiling fan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Once you have your lyrics and your melody, it's pretty simple to uh, bring everything inside a Synthesizer V2. You can simply import a MIDI part like I just did. You can write them down manually and you can also import an audio recording. Okay, so let's say you have like a recording of yourself singing. You can import that recording inside Synthesizer V2, which I'm gonna show you later in this video. So stick around for this one. Now under the vocal panel, uh, on top of uh, selecting the voice, uh, you can also select the language. <laughs> Look at that, there's a, uh, different languages available like uh, Mandarin, Japanese, Spanish, but let's uh, stick to English and a look at the vocal mode, which is very, very well done. That will change the articulation, expression, uh, the mood of the voice. And uh, every singer will have its own vocal mode. So for example, like Hayden has a clear, a falsetto, a powerful, uh, to name a few. If I go to uh, Natalie, now we have bold, soft, uh, steady, you know, um, which is pretty cool because those vocal modes are unique to the voice you have selected. So let's try soft, for example. I tried to sing, but I just can't. My voice sounds like a ceiling fan. <laughs> okay, let's bring that one lower, see how it goes. And at the same time, look how quick the processing is. It's crazy. I tried to sing, but I just can't. My voice sounds like a ceiling fan. La 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 la. That's pretty cool. It's almost in real time. Um, okay, so powerful. Let's add a bit of that. I tried to sing, but I just can't. Nice. My voice sounds like a ceiling. All right, so you get the idea. Now, inside every vocal mode, you can uh, split that up in three different sections. Uh, so you can basically um, change the uh, uh, the pitch mode, the timbre mode, or the um, uh, pronunciation mode separately or all together. Okay, and we also have extra parameters we can play around with. So let's try breathiness. I tried to sing. But I just can't. My voice sounds like a ceiling fan. Cool. La la la. <laughs> Very nice. Now let's go a bit deeper and I'm gonna switch song for this one. Now this is the, the one you heard at the beginning of the video. It's just a pre-production idea that I decided to use a synthesizer uh, V2 to try out a vocal, you know, a vocal line. And this is what I ended up with. At the bottom, I can change the phoneme strength and timing, which is very well done. And it's very flexible. So let's just try a few things here. Shadows in the like shadows, for example. The CH, you know, let's say I find it a bit too loud. I'm just going to bring that down. Shadows in the light, a voice that's never breathing. Okay, now something very cool here is that if you want to add some breaths, okay, to make your vocal sound a bit more natural, it's not going to do it automatically. Okay, you're going to have to do this manually. So, for example, um, if we listen to this part of the vocal, that's never breathing, and it sounds right. Okay, this little space is perfect to add a breath. And this is exactly what I did. I just created a note, typed in BR, and now this is what I get. That's never breathing, and it sounds right. And by using the phoneme timing and strength, I can play around with the strength of that breath. So if I find it too loud, I'm just gonna bring that down. That's never breathing, and it sounds... Or a bit more strength, maybe? That's never breathing, and it sounds right... This is how much control I have here. It's very impressive. Now, every vocal mode that I have on the uh, voice panel can be applied on one single word or note, all right? And by adding a, an automation lane at the bottom. 
I'm going to click on the plus sign. And now by default, I have the pitch deviation loudness that I can add automation to, but I can also select any other um, parameters or controls I have here. Okay. And that goes from all vocal modes to uh, some parameters also like breathiness, um, tone shift, uh, bold that I added, warm that I also added, and everything I already added automation is in green. Okay, now on this one, I just added some warm on specific words. Well, let's have a quick listen on this one. In a waveform. Okay, originally it sounded like this. In a waveform. Shadow. So I just wanted to add a bit more warmness at the end. In a waveform. And the warm is adding a bit more closeness, I find, you know, a bit like if a singer sings closer to a microphone. And same at the end, the last line right here. Let's bring it back to how it was. Voice inside. All right, and this is how it sounds like now. Voice inside. Cool, very close, I kind of like that. Very nice mood. I did the same with bold on one word and that kind of worked pretty well. And that was for uh, sounds right. Okay, so this is how it was before. Thing, and it sounds right echo. So I just wanted to have a bit more intensity on the sounds right. So added a bit more bold on those two words was the way to go. Thing, and it sounds right echo. So it does add a lot of feel to the whole vocal performance. So this is the type of thing you can do with the automation lane at the bottom. And there's some tools right on top here uh, to write the automation down. Next, we have the notes panel, and this is quite impressive, okay? There's the expression window, and first you have to select the notes you want to uh, to work with or apply expression on. So for example, if I select uh, this line right here. Whispers in a waveform. So waveform, the form has lots of vibrato, which I kind of like in this case, but let's say I want to tweak that around. Uh, there's a few ways I can do it and uh, using the expression window here is one of them. So in that case, I would bring my uh, the little circle uh, near rigid. Whispers in a waveform. So it gives me a more smooth of a vibrato. Let's overdo it. Whispers in a waveform. Now it's pretty straight. If I want to add vibrato, I'm going to go more towards vibrant. Whispers in a waveform. So this is something to experiment with and very useful. Okay, AI retakes is very cool. So what AI retakes is going to do, it's going to propose to me another take, a bit like if I asked the singer to record another take basically it's going to sound a bit different than the original one by default same here but now you can use ai retakes according to the timing the timbre the pitch or a blend of all of them and this is what i'm going to do here so let's again listen to the first line whispers in a waveform all right i'm going to click on all and there you go now i have another take of that first line whispers in a waveform i can go on with another one Whispers in a waveform shout. You know, even the form sounds so different. Now, if I click on take two, it's going to list me all the takes I have so far, including the original one. So let's say I want to create back vocals based on the original vocal recording. And this is exactly what I did here. So I duplicated the first, uh, the original track by clicking on duplicate track on linked. And from this point, I just uh, uh, tweak that up to my taste, uh, creating a harmony or, you know, whatever I want the back vocal to do, and then duplicated that one also, and uh, pan these uh, left and right. So I did that uh, several times, and by using the AI retake, it kind of made the whole thing way more natural, okay? And also on top of that, I used another singer, another voice. Uh, so for the back vocals of this one, let's uh, listen to what I have here. Echoes of a feeling that... All right, let's go with the lead also. Sounds right. Echoes of a feeling that keep my voice inside. So on the copy, I kept the original. I just changed the voice and that did it perfectly. On the copy of the copy that I panned to the opposite side, I used the AI retakes uh, to give me another version, basically. So it sounds more like two recordings, which is way more natural. And I did the same for another harmony on top of that. Right
Now I'm gonna use a real vocal recording to import into Synthesizer V2. Uh, so I have this uh, vocal recording. What's up with choosing indecision? And what I wanna do here is to import this one and create some back vocals on top of this main vocal recording. Uh, so to import an actual audio recording inside a Synthesizer V2, I'm gonna have to create a new instrumental track to begin with, and then import the recording, the vocal recording that I bounced before. And now I have it straight into the arrangement window as an audio recording, and I'm gonna right click on that audio event and click on extract notes from audio. I'm gonna keep the default uh, parameters and click on okay. And it's gonna create a MIDI channel on top and also uh, the notes straight into the piano roll window. And this is what I get. What's up with juicing indecision? All right, close enough for now. Let's listen. Don't know what life you're living from. So that is with the original. Don't know what life you're living for. It's pretty close. Now, the way the AI detected the lyrics is not quite accurate as far as the lyrics goes, but as far as the phonetics and the sound goes, it's pretty on target. Don't know what life you're living for. So you can basically sing your own vocal lines and import that into the software. So what I did for this one, I duplicated the main melody twice, used a female vocalist on the new copies, pan them left and right. And on the second copy, I used the AI retake on that female vocal track. What's up with choosing indecision? Perfect. What's up with choosing indecision? Now, I also have a set of harmonies that I also worked on, and I have for these a male vocalist. Why don't you take a chance and think it over before it's over, won't you? That's pretty cool, very impressive. Now, if you want my opinion, this is definitely a tool I'm gonna to continue working with. So useful, you know, as far as I'm concerned anyways. Now, the way I see these types of tools is the same way I see virtual instruments in general. This tool is not gonna write lyrics for you, it's not gonna write and generate a melody for you. You're gonna to have to work that up on your own, okay? Uh, but it is a great tool, like especially for someone like me who is not a singer to begin with, but I like to write music, and sometimes when I write melodies and stuff, um, I don't wanna take the microphone and start singing. It's not gonna sound the way I'm gonna want that production to sound like. But using a tool like this one is gonna make my life way more enjoyable when producing music, especially when working on uh, vocal melodies, vocal lines, um, back vocal arrangements, and, and stuff like that, you know, especially when I'm working on my own, you know? So I can definitely use this tool to lay down a good vocal line on a song I'm working with uh, to send to my favorite singer. But I can also use this tool like I just did to create some vocal harmonies and back vocal on an existing project. And even with a minimum of work I've done uh, so far using it in this video, uh, the results are pretty stunning if you want my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you think. You know, is this the kind of tool you would work with? So again, I'm gonna leave the link down below if you wanna try it out for yourself. And if you do, let me know how it goes. Until next time, take care and see you.